Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I'll show you how to get rid of unwanted emotions that are trapped inside of your body, such as anger, sadness, rage, so many emotions, basically things that are trapped in here that you feel that you aren't able to release. So this is very good if you have that stuffy feeling inside of you and you don't know what to do to get rid of it. I'll show you a very easy technique easy routine to do anytime an unwanted emotion comes over you and you don't know how to release it. So first, let's check a few things. So let's say you're in that very angry place, right? Ah, I just want to yell and scream and throw things, but that is not healthy. In your body, you have two points, middle of your chest and right in between your diaphragm and your belly button. Right here, if you press these two points and when, you, when you're in a state of emotional anger, when you press these two points, you'll feel pain, especially right here. If you feel pain here, that means there's blockage, emotions that need to come out. If you feel here and there's no pain, you're pretty good, you're relaxed. So let's say you're in that angry state, <sighs> like this, right? Tap your chest. Tap your chest because this is where a lot of our emotions get stored and we don't know what to do with it. So to stimulate it out of your body, tap your chest. But when you tap, tap deeply inside. So use both hands to tap into your lungs, into your heart, like you're breaking up the emotion that is inside of you. Tap. So tap deeply like you're really trying to break up a rock of emotion. If you tap like this, that emotion is going to control you. But if you really tap like this, you can break up the emotion inside. Okay? So tap like you really mean it. Tap deeply. You can close your eyes if you want to, or you can keep your eyes open. That's okay. Focus on the sensation of tapping deeply inside. So let's do this for just one minute. Just simply tap. Tap with the intention of breaking up that solid mass of emotion, anger, sadness, depression, loneliness, whatever it is, break it up. Break it up, break it up. One minute. Break it up, break it up. Tap through your skin, not just the surface, Break it up like you really mean it. Inside, the emotion that's trapped inside of you, break it apart. Using your hands, break it apart. If you feel it in your shoulders, if the emotions make you tense in your neck and shoulders, tap here too. Neck, shoulders. This is where all of our emotions get stored. 30 more seconds. Tap deeply. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, now keep tapping and we're gonna add one more element and that is the breath. The breath guides energy in and out of your body. So emotions are energy that is trapped inside of your body, right? Emotions, you can't touch them, you, you, you can't see them, they're invisible energies. To guide it out of your body, exhale out. As you tap, like you're drawing all of this out using your sound, using your breath, like you're pulling it out of your body. It's a combination of breaking it up, pulling it up, breaking it up, pulling it up. You can close your eyes or you can keep your eyes open. <sighs> Please feel free to make sound. If you need to scream and yell, that's okay. Whatever you do, don't hold it in. Don't hold it in. It's going to rot inside of you if you hold it in. Break it up. Use sound and breath. <sighs> If you need to scream, please scream. Anything is okay. Let yourself release it. 
let's do this for one minute. One minute, 60 seconds, go all out. You're doing great, 30 seconds. Even in your neck and shoulders. Break it up with your hands, pull it out through your breath and sound. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Now place one hand over your heart, one hand over your abdomen. Breathe comfortably. Try to breathe into your abdomen. And as you breathe into your abdomen, shake your head side to side. As emotions, travel in your body they start in your heart and they radiate up to your neck shoulders and all the way to your head so we want to unclog the stuffiness and brain fog that results from heavy emotions unwanted emotions place one hand over your heart one hand on your abdomen to ground yourself shake your head <sighs> shake your head shake your head and here too shake with the idea of emotions being like mud that's stuck to you. All this mud is stuck onto you, making you feel heavy and tired and out of control. So with all this stuck in your head, you're shaking it like you're shaking it off, off of your body, like this. If you shake like this, will the mud come off? Does this look like it's cleaning anything? No, right? So you really want to shake like you're shaking off the mud of emotion. Shake, 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 shake. And here too, please breathe. We're going to shake for 30 seconds. Fifteen more seconds. Shake off the mud of emotion that is on your head, on your body. Use your breath to clear out the inside. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, stop, stop shaking. Keep your hands on your heart and your abdomen. Breathe three times deeply into your abdomen. Let your abdomen rise. And exhale out. Two more times, any remaining dust, any remaining emotion that is still inside of you, breathe it out through your mouth. Another deep breath in. Exhale out. One more time, deep breath in. Hold it there, three, two, one, sigh out. Now place both hands over your heart. Close your eyes and repeat after me. I am not my emotions. I am not my emotions. My emotions are not me. They are simply mine. My emotions do not define me. I have emotions. And because I have emotions, I can control them the way I want. I have anger. I have sadness, that's okay. The question is, do I choose to stay in my anger 
or do I choose something else? The choice is always mine. I am not my emotions. I am not my emotions. My emotions are not me. They are mine. Open your eyes. Please remember your emotions are not you. So even if you feel like they are totally you because you're consumed by them, they are not you. They are simply yours. Just like a piece of clothing, you can take it off. Your emotions, if you choose to let go of them, you always have the power to do so. Never forget that you have the power to choose which emotion to stay in. You did a great job. If you still feel some residue, please repeat this exercise until you feel light, until you feel like the emotion has passed. It might take one try, two tries, three tries, it doesn't matter. Use this exercise to get it out of your system. You did great. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.